what happens when the Kool-Aid man oh, yeah. and a ram mate. <coughs> That's right, you get mutated ram man from the Turtles of Grayskull line. Masters of the Universe meets Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in wave two of this exciting new line of figures from Mattel. Are you ready? Yup! Go ahead and take a closer look at that box. So right off the bat, you do see Ram Man here. Looks really good as a figure stands out. We have the Masters of the Universe logo and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo there. We come up, we have Ram Man's name there. No flavor text underneath it because this is an international figure. We also have Skeletor and Shredder up at the top here with the Turtles of Grayskull logo. As we turn our attention to the back, you can see we have Ram Man there with his weapons. We see the entire second wave there, uh, Raphael, Ram Man, Shredder, and Beast Man. Of course, we have artwork for Ram Man. We have Skeletor, He-Man, and Moss Man tied up and praying in the back, as well as another shot of the Shredder Ooze Pit. Let's go ahead and get him out of the box. Like all origin figures, Ram Man comes in the five and a half inch line, but he stands more about five and three quarter inches. Comes with two axes in a comic book. Has a red outfit, silver for the shoulders, helmet, and his belt buckle. Got green for the legs, black around the calves and on his belt, and cream color for the horns. As we get a closer look at his face, you can see his eyes are also red, and there is a little bit of black underneath his eyes. And there you can see the green crackling on his purple translucent skin. You can also see the black goatee on his chinny chin chin. His head is on a bull joint. You can get left and turn, left and right turn. And if you move his head just right, uh, the goatee kind of blocks it, but you can actually get a full 360 on his neck there. You can try to get him to look up here. But he can't look down. His uh, goatee won't let you let him look down. The waist does spin at a full 360. You can see that like the armor doesn't almost fit him anymore since he's so much bigger. You can lift the arms up about this far. Uh, the shoulder pads kind of block it from doing a full 360. And they can go back about that far. He can bring his shoulders up in a T-pose. We do have a single bend on the elbows. And you can rotate the elbow like so. He can do a full 360 on his hands, and he does have horizontal bend for both hands. One hand is molded, though, to hold one axe, and then the other is molded to, to hold the, the larger handled axe. So you can see that's changed right there. He can do the splits about that far, and as you can see, because of the skirting, he can lift his leg up so far and go back so far. He does have a bend at the knee, and you do have a bit of a swivel at the knee as well. You also have a, a calf turn here, and you can go a full 360. The ankles do tilt left and right, and you can point his hooves down or point them up like so. Here we have Red Man's X's, and as you can see, they're gray. This is the one that fits in the one specific hand that's kind of a closed fist almost. And then we've got the second uh, double bladed axe, it has the, the wider opening, and the two axe. Do combine, like with the Origins Ram Man, to make like a you know double axe, basically. And we'll take the narrow-ended axe, and we'll put that in the closed fist. That's where it usually will go, or that's the only place it'll go. We'll take the other axe, and we'll put it in the opened grip hand there. So it looks just like this. Holding both of his axes. On the back, he does have a holster, or a, I guess a sheath, or a holding device, as, as it were. Uh, you could put an axe right there. It's thin enough that I was only able to get the thin-handled axe in at the top. So, store his weapons on his back. Just combine the two axes like this, and it holds in place pretty well. Overall, it's not a bad spot to hold his axes, and they don't really get in the way of anything, so it works out well to store them that way. Brought out Origins Ram Man and Masterverse Ram Man, uh, and you can see there's a height difference, so... Mutated Ram Man is much taller than Origins Ram Man, and then almost as tall as Masterverse Ram Man, which I thought was kind of interesting. I mean, granted, that's a seven-inch figure, but then we'd look at them from the side there. One thing I'm really glad about is they didn't incorporate the gimmick of the, the jumping. I don't know how they would have done it with those legs, but keeping them separate, I think, works better overall. So from the side view, you get another clear difference in their height and as far as how they scale together. I had to mess around a little bit with its articulation and see what that poses I could find. And this was a pretty good one for a running pose. And if I had a proper stand, I think he'd look really well without my hands having to hold it up. But I didn't have a stand strong enough to hold him. But other than that, I kind of struggled to find some some other poses that just didn't involve him running. Although I think that was kind of a strong suit. You could definitely get him to 
flexes muscles. But overall, there's probably more there, and I just need to play with it a little bit more as far as getting the poses together. I did find that the more I played with it, though, the more weak his ankles were getting, so I needed to be pretty careful with that. That, my friends, is my review of Mutated Ram Man from the Turtles of Grayskull line. I do like this figure. I think it's actually really good, nicely put together. Great homage, if you will, to Ram Man himself. When Wave 2 comes out and you guys can find him, I highly recommend getting him. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this review today, and... We'll see you on the next one. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more epic toy reviews and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep those figures posing and those collections growing. This is Joel from Talking Toys signing off.